Hi, I'm Laura and welcome back to the Tarot Genie. This week is lesson three of lessons in the cards of the tarot. And today we're going to cover the Empress card. Look at that card closely, the Empress card. It's number three of the Major Arcana. And what I love about the Empress card is that one, you see this yellow background, it's brilliant, it's bold color, it suggests illumination. And it's three of the major arcana, and three, numerologically, is associated with creativity. Now, the Empress herself is the archetypal Earth Mother. Really, she is. I mean, you can just see, for one, if you gaze upon this image, you can see she's out in this lush, lavish, bucolic environment, kind of like near the woods. She's got a a waterfall that's wending its way down on to the side of her. We've got a harvest right in front of her. And also, well, we see the trees in the background. So she's in this beautiful nature spot. Also, her robe suggests nature too. We've got the palm granites, which as I said last week in the High Priestess represents fertility. And so the Empress herself not only is associated with creativity because that's the number three but creative she is associated can be with pregnancy and what always pops up for me is just her nur sense of nurture nurturing she is again the epitome of the earth mother so it's a mother who's just nurturing to others she's there also she just look at her doesn't she look so relaxed and laid back? And there's some images and some other decks that are based on the right weight. You know, the artwork does affect the interpretation, depending on what which deck you're using, in which she looks a little bit sassy. So it just depends. But in this particular image, I think she just appears to be the epitome of someone who is nurturing, someone who's relaxed, someone who is comfortable with herself, totally comfortable. And she's also, we get the sense of lavishness as she's on this lush kind of chair with cushions. We have the, in this heart, we have the sign of, I think the Venus sign. She's also associated with sensuality and sensory delights. Again, kind of that earth mother, so it's tactile she's connected to the material realm but at the same time you know she has that air she conveys an air of royalty she's got the crown and then these 12 stars are the 12 stars of the zodiac and that is associated with universal power and there's just also she has a laurel wreath which suggests a victory, a celebration of some kind. She's victorious. So she's the just, and she just has this very calm demeanor, facial expression. If you look at her closely, let me see what jumps out. And this cushion, it's bright red, suggesting that passion and joy of life. When she appears in a reading, depending on the question asked, now, if this was if you were asking a question about a particular individual and you wanted to know more to know more about that person this would suggest that this is a very a person who is very giving very sharing uh, very, very generous who shares a lot of themselves to others who just allows things to flow and that again that water the water flow suggests the whole sense of flow and creativity flow and oh, that relates to the whole, a, a quotation, a quote that my spiritual coach, Carol Duray always talks about the flow of feelings and that feelings create. She's just a very, you just feel her warmth. The Empress exudes warmth. And yes, again, this heart-shaped shield with the Venus symbol that also suggests protection and Everything in this scene, in this image, it conveys flourishing, just life flourishing. So it's just, she is perhaps the seat of life where life can begin if she's, she's a mother or she's pregnant. That's, it's all about life and its splendor. And it's also because the way she's seated is that receptive energy. She's not 
aggressively going out, but she's just receiving, she's receiving your energy. Let me see. And also just that whole sense of luxury and beauty, femininity, fertility, overall sense of peace. And again, the three associated with creativity. So she is also the epitome of cre creativity. Pregnancy is creating a human being, but she could also, if the empress came up and you were asking about a business venture or a project, she could represent the birth of a new idea, the birth of a new project, something that appears very promising. Her white gown is purity of intention, but it's all what I sense, especially from the Empress, is that creative flow, that giving flow, that generous spirit. Now, the book I would recommend, well, I always want to recommend, I'll show this almost every week, to get to know the Empress a bit better yourself, is to buy Teresa Reed's The Tarot Coloring Book. And that will give you some informa uh, information, just the tactile sense of coloring in the tarot cards really heightens your understanding of the image. It makes you feel closer to the image. It, you kind of enter the image, I'll put it that way. So check that one out. Also, since we're talking about the Empress and the number three and creativity, if you are the type of person who needs to be creative in your vocation, in your work, etc., an oldie but goodie book that I recommend is The Artist's Way by Julia Cameron. The subtitle is A Spiritual Path to Higher Creativity. I've had this book since 1994. I wish I had time to do everything it says in here. It has got some excellent exercises, but the daily recommended task or activity, I won't call it a task, activity that it highly recommends, and I will say it does work, to unblock your creativity, if you feel blocked in any way, is to do three pages, handwritten pages. I know I've, I've done them typewritten sometimes, but it's really better to do it handwritten. But three pages of handwritten text in the morning when you first wake up, it's like you dump your whatever is in your mind when you first wake up. And usually there's not that much in my mind at the moment, but at that moment. But when you do that consistently, it really does kind of clear the clutter, your mental clutter. And it's created breakthroughs for people. I mean, I know for me when I was doing it for a while, I just did feel the things flowed more. Now the reason why I don't, I wish I don't keep doing it, I do want to get back to doing it for another 12 weeks. The initial challenge is to do it for 12 weeks, I believe. It's three pages every morning, plus she has a whole bunch of other exercises and things that you do on weekends, etc., to unleash, to tap that creative flow. But the reason I don't keep up with it is because I have a morning routine that's already jam-packed with meditation, with gratitude journal, with ch picking a tarot card, with exercise, etc. And I, I would never get any sleep if I tried to do everything. But I do plan to get back to it at some point. So I recommend that book. And let me just see if there's any other comments about the Empress that you should be aware of. Well, if, if the Empress appears reversed, then that would suggest a situation or a person who is blocked in some way, or maybe who's not being nurturing as they should be, depending on the question you're asking. And it would be someone, yes, who's not giving, who's not generous, who's not, or is blocked from that for some reason, withholding their maternal instincts, etc. And the song that luckily Teresa Reed had in her book on the Empress this week for the uh, is I Am Woman by Helen Reddy. Old song, but it definitely relates to the Empress when we're talking about maternal energy. Or, yeah, maternal energy, creativity, etc. Now, as far as other music for creativity, I was looking for specific songs, couldn't find them, but of course. Fast-paced music by Mozart is very good for eliciting your creativity. That's always known for that. So 
find something. I mean, the I Am Woman by Helen Reddy is a good one to remind, especially women, if they want to tap into their female power. And let me just see if there's anything else that I'm leaving out in this image. I think I've pretty much covered it. Um, but overall, in conclusion, the Earth, the Earth Mother, the Empress represents the Earth Mother. Creativity, lavish abundance, generosity, sensuality, sensitivity, at ease with herself, and someone that typically we are drawn to, and someone who's very receptive and I would say calm and collective. I hope this reading has been helpful for you. If you've not already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. And until next time, remember, illumine your mind, inspire your life with the tarot.